Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video on my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe or give a like or a comment. I'm always available, got my socials linked down below for any crazy reactions on this channel, any vlogs coming your way. We've got plenty prepared, okay? And as you saw of the title of this video, I'm doing a piercing tour. That's what they call them. <laughs> a piercing tour today, which I'm so freaking excited for. Basically, all I do in my free time is either watch Netflix, BTS, YouTube, everything like that, to each other movies. I just, I just chill, essentially, and fangirl my little heart out and get piercings. I don't know what it is, but I've always just like, not always, I think it was during high school, um, was where the obsession started because like I got bullied for different features in that of, of mine like my eyebrows I have no eyebrows I got them dyed with my hair so I have a bit more eyebrows these days <laughs> than I did before but um I used to get bullied for my eyebrows oh for my skin color that was a big one because I'm very very pale so I get milky pale I even got Sheldon Cooper a few times from Big Bang Theory which I thought was a bit odd. Plus those bullies were my friends, so that's kind of like... Anyways. <laughs> Piercings were my way of kind of like, you know what, let's do something to jazz this face up. Let's do something to create a little pop. Let's do something to create a little, ooh, a little eye catch moment. Just something that'll make me feel better about myself, my look, something to care for, something to look after, something to style, you know. I just thought they were perfect all around. And, um... Yeah, and I think I just I just watched piercing videos non freaking stop. I still do to this day because I find it so amazing watching people get piercings. I just love watching it, like the process and the nerves and the excitement, and the, the actual piercing, like the needle going through, the jewelry being put in, and just the finished result. I just love all that stuff. Um, not even when it's on me, just everyone. <laughs> I love watching it, and piercing tours are like one of my favorite things to watch as well. Um, because seeing all the different types of people out there, like the different, you know, styles they've got, the different ear shapes, different, you know, jewellery, I guess. I love all that stuff. So I thought I'm at a point where I can do a piercing tour <laughs> as I have quite a lot. <laughs> Without further ado, let's jump into the video. 25 piercings in total and one tattoo, which is right here. I got it recently. It says Euphoria, yes, like the BTS song by Jungkook, my all-time bias, my favourite human in the entire world. And that is essentially why I got it, <laughs> just because I loved the song. It was my everything. It got me through such hard times going through school and dealing with bits and bobs. So, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the camera and it just looks freaking amazing. The pain of a tattoo, literally, like if you if you want to get a tattoo, do it. Like, honestly, it is nothing. It is, the guy said to me, he was like, that's it. As you put the needle in, I was like, are you kidding me? That, that That's it? Oh my god. Like, that is no... Of course it hurts. Like, it's not like... It doesn't tickle. That's not what it is. I pierce and I joke about how people are like... When you watch piercing videos and all that sort of stuff, how people are like, oh my god, it didn't even hurt. Or like, what's your pain scale out of 10 for that piercing? Zero. Like, didn't even feel the needle go through. Yes, she freaking did. The needle is going through your body. <laughs> like, there's a needle going through your ear. <laughs> you felt it, okay? It's just... Unless they didn't actually feel it and they have that condition where you don't feel pain, which would be interesting. But anyways, <laughs> so 25 altogether. I have 13, I believe, on this ear. Six on this, seven on this ear, because industrial counts as two. And I am getting two conch piercings this afternoon. I just couldn't wait to film that. <laughs> but I'll probably insert a picture of that. I, pr I will. I'll insert a picture of that at the end of the video. So the finished look. I just had all the time in the world today, so I really wanted to do <laughs> that and show you guys before I get them done. But, so, let's get into the run the rundown. Okay, so, I'll also be doing pain, pricing, all that sort of thing as well. So, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. It's, it's time, it's time. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll start with this ear. So, I recently got my industrial done. And in my previous videos, you might have seen, I used to have the industrial on this side, going across there. However, wish I wish I thought of it more, but this was the side that would always get bumped. Like, this is, if you think about it, like, your right side is the side that you hug people on. Like, that was the way I noticed it. Not, not so much with COVID anymore. <laughs> but hugging people like relatives, like, you bump that all the time. 
and it was just that was what caused the undown downfall for me because it healed quite good but it just would get like a bump from me hugging someone then it, the bump would go away after I clean it and it come back like something it was just like oh, and, I, and I but I absolutely loved it and I was like eh, but I had to take it out and then I kept the forward helix part of it because it was perfectly fine but it was just floating around in nowhere and I was just like so I got rid of it as well after a little while so yeah but that, that's that and then <laughs> I the other week so this is a fresh piercing um, I was like I really miss the industrial I want to jazz this ear up because I used to have a triple helix but the middle the middle of the triple helix was done with my old piercer and he didn't do it in a, in a very good spot like my new piece said that so I'm not like dissing him or anything <laughs> but it wasn't done in like a great spot so it just never healed it was always it was just in a position where the skin was just not not living for it <laughs> so I had to take it out so I was just left with two helixes in a dist like a fed with a fair distance away from each other so I was like so I thought what I'll do is I'll just get another one by my new piercer straight back smack wing in the middle middle where the other one was but then I thought wouldn't it be fantastic if I could fit an industrial in there like in that gap, wouldn't it be great if I could? Like, because this side won't get bumped nearly as much as this side. So I was like, so I talked to my piercer about it, and it could be done. So there's my industrial. I'll insert pictures of it. And then, yeah, so the pain for an industrial, it is a more painful one because it is two piercings and it is through, through both sides of cartilage um, but honestly I would not say it's bad because it literally only lasts the amount of time that it is being pushed through <laughs> but yeah like it I would say like a five for both like all up like a five um, yeah honestly it, but it, it is one that you cannot sleep on like do not you can't sleep on any of your piercings but it is one that is just like do not do that I'll sleep on this piercing it is just very easily agitated keep your hair away from it as I'm trying to do now <laughs> um, don't like yank it or anything just be very careful with it essentially for the first few months and yeah it does take a year to heal so I'm ready for that <laughs> but yeah and just keep it clean keep it keep it going great and that's what you got to do but yeah pain doesn't last that long it does ache for a little while afterwards but every piercing does but it genuinely, genuinely isn't bad. Yeah, the two helixes above it and below it. And I'll put a picture right here of them close up. So like I said before, I did have three. But one was in the middle was pierced incorrectly. So I had to take that one out. So I just had them two. They are literally like... Helixes are just one of my favourite piercings to get. As you can tell. <laughs> Because they just don't hurt at all. Like it's, if anything, I believe I think that my lobe hurt more when I had my force there. I think it hurt more than the helix. Helix, like honestly, I give it like a three. Anyone can go. It's literally fine because it's more on the flat. Like it's not, like that's to that's to your helix, just like the flat. So honestly, fine. They're just done with labrets at the back and um. Yeah, honestly, simple, easy, quick, ready to go. Same thing as like the industrial, they are cartilage piercings, so you can't sleep on them, clean them with salt solution, like all your piercings um, twice a day. And then, um, yeah, any bumps, just be very, very careful of that. But yeah, they healed quite nicely. They did have a little bump, like a microscopic one on the bottom one, um, a few weeks after I got it, but that went like the day after I cleaned it. I think it was just probably because I slept on it or bumped it in my sleep. So yeah, but that's that's expected. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a little scar, two little red dots here. So bam, bam, the one inside my ear is more noticeable. Bam, bam. And I used to have the snug piercing. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I'll insert a picture right there. And um, it is quite a rare one, I guess. It is more popular these days, but it is still quite a rare one because it is known to be very, very painful. Um, as it is through quite a thick, awkward part of cartilage in your ear. And that part is quite thick for me. And plus I had a, a mid cartilage, a mid antitragus. It's also called an antitragus. So snug or antitragus. <laughs> as your tragus is there. So, um, But you can have a low antitragus. So with this little bump here, you can have an antitragus through there. Or antitragus at the top. But I had mine just in the middle. Um, I had it for quite a while. Probably a year I would say. Um, 
but it just like I notice on the phone it gets quite bumped like when I hold a phone to my ear it's get it gets bumped a lot and just gets a little agitated and sleeping is quite hard because there's like a gem there so it's a bit just a bit in the way and a bit a bit of a problematic one and I always have to tighten it every night because I had the fear that the ball would fall off and go in my ear <laughs> so um for those of you who have tragus piercings I commend you for that because I would be way too scared to have a tragus there like knowing that that could go in my ear <laughs> Who's going to tell that she was getting a tragus piercing that day? Yeah, so I think the constant tightening, tightening of it was probably a bit of pressure on it. But in the end, I took it out probably a week ago. And I just said to my piercer, look, take it. Let's just let's just say goodbye. Let's just say goodbye. I think it's, it's nice. And then I got the idea for the double conch. So that's where I'll be headed today. <laughs> I used to have my fourth. So there was a tiny little scar there. Um, however... Now I just have three because I thought three and three would look good. And plus the fourths just never really healed. They were done with a gun as well, which I severely regret. And it's a tiny bit of cartilage in there. So um, they, did, they just never healed. Same as on this side. There's three in the little gap because the fourth was there. But they, they, yeah, they both just never healed. As much as I looked after them, sloped to them, just everything like that. They just didn't heal. So I just thought, bugger it. Take, take them out. But yeah, so now I just have three low piercings on both sides sides with a little double opal action and a little silver hoopies because we love a little dangly moment moving on to my right ear so the my prized possession i like to call it <laughs> so i have i'll insert a picture on this side so i have a dave piercing which is the one inside the ear there the little ring and then three and then the nine i think it is i believe cartilage piercings at the top so the dath, the dath is quite a interesting, is the word I'll go with, <laughs> piercing to get. Just the experience is interesting. Um, I think the clamping or like the tube, however they do it, like I forget how it was done for me. But um, that's probably the most painful part because it's just a lot of pressure. It's not necessarily pain with that one. I think anyone will tell you it's um, pressure with that one. And because I have quite a small, thin date, it was quite, it was, it could still be done, but it was still quite a tricky maneuver. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's stunning with a little ring in there, just adds a little bit of gem, a little bit of pop, a little bit of action to the day. <laughs> and yeah, I just love it. And plus I have like, I, I feel like I have really big internal parts of my ear for some reason. Like I just, so I think that was nice to cover that. <laughs> and then I have my nine helix piercings going up the side so the story behind that was after I took my industrial out on that side I always wanted a full ear like going up the full ear and I tried to do it on this ear many years ago but I got it done at a nail place and she was like a qualified like piercer but I would say she was only qualified like slightly because just because she was very this hair is not staying back just because she was very like quick to it and like very unorganized sort of thing and she just did it in the completely wrong spot on my up my ear and they just never healed she did it too close she basically pierced where the snug goes essentially going up my ear so and i got five done from her and they went up here so they never healed had to take them all out it was a very sad time so this year i thought hey this is a fresh ear i can get them all done up here talked to my piercer about it he was like down for that so i think i got them in intervals so i got i think i got i got the two here I had, I've had them for like eight months, ten months, something like that, the longest. And then um, the rest I did in intervals. So I did those two next, those two next, and then these three last. I originally was just planning to have eight, so not the very, very top one. But my, when my piercer, when my piercer pierced them, he was like, please let me do another one. <laughs> he just doesn't, it, I, I need to complete the look. And I was like, sure, stab me another time. <laughs> but yeah, so I did two, two, two. Two, 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 and three. Yeah. So yeah, but the pain for all of them, honestly, they would say it gets more painful as it goes up, but I don't really know. I feel like the the mid mid helix is quite painful because it's a bit thicker. I didn't really find the top part that painful because it's quite quick. Um, just a vicious pinch, honestly. So I'd say like a three, same as these, just just a three. And getting them all done at once, I don't find that more painful. I think it's great because like the general the the adrenaline and the excitement of having it done you just forget 
So, uh, plus, obviously, you can tell I'm a sucker for piercings <laughs> and the pain, necessarily. So, yeah, you just don't, you don't really notice it that much. And it, I think it's just, yeah, that's a bit of a sparkle. Pricing. I know it's different for every piercing place, tattoo place that you go to. And my, particularly in Australia, it could be very different in the UK, in America, in Africa, in Netherlands, in Russia, China. Wherever, wherever, wherever you... Let me start again. <laughs> Whatever, it, wherever it is you live, <laughs> I know it would be different. But for Australia, the place I go to in New South Wales, my peers are. So the industrial is seventy five dollars, <laughs> and a helix piercing is sixty five. Uh, the snug was sixty five. Lobes are twenty or two for thirty. And then yeah, all helix is sixty five. Dave is sixty five as well, and then lobes are just. Yeah, one for 20 or two for 30. And now onto my face. <laughs> so I'll come in close, don't mind me guys. All my lovely pimples coming in today. So I have a double nostril piercing, as you can see there. And I have my Medusa up above my lip. And yeah, that's it for my face piercing. So I used to have one on this side as well. So I used to have a double nostril. So ignore the two on this side. I used to have the one at the back. And one here and they were like a double nostril piercing i had that for quite a while but i just i was never that big a fan of it like i liked it but i just didn't know if it suited me or not like two gems so then i got i saw a girl with uh, on pinterest with a double nostril piercing okay this so i got that done on this side so i had one there one there and just one here i loved it but then it fell out in my sleep and i couldn't get it back in and it was just such a devastating day. I decided to get it done on this side in front of this one. But it got infected and just did not work for me. So I took it out. Then I got it re-pierced <laughs> a few weeks ago. And this is what we're working with. So now I have a double nostril on this side. So I, my nose has been through a lot. <laughs> and I also had a septum piercing. Which I hid all the time from my parents. But I eventually told them. My dad still doesn't know. My dad never knew I had one. Even though I had it out. A lot he just never noticed it but my parents just really really didn't like it I think just with their older generation beliefs sort of thing with like the bull ring and the cow ring and that sort of thing they just weren't a big fan of it they thought it took away from facial features and that sort of thing which is fine um, but I just needed to experience it I just really wanted to experience it but I think yeah it just wasn't for me I mean I liked it for a certain period of time but I think I just thought what's the point of me hiding it all the time if I'm like too afraid to show it so I just got rid of it but yeah, the piercing pain for that one was like a two. Like you literally, you think it's going to hurt, but it's going through the sweet spot. And if they pierce your cartilage, I'm sure that would hurt. You're not supposed to pierce the cartilage in your, in, through your septum. That is very, very bad. But you're meant to, your piercer will find the sweet spot in your nose where the septum piercing is meant to go. And pierce that. And if it's pierced properly, everything will go fine. But the only thing that hurt with that one was just when you're cleaning it. Like this is true. I, I saw so many people say it on their YouTube channels. When you clean um, a septum piercing the first few weeks that you've got it pierced, the little crusty bits that the piercings get, sorry if that's gross, the little crusty bits that come up on your piercing in there. And of course you can't really see them because they're up there. And when you like get a cotton swab, cotton tip with your with the salt solution on it, that's how I clean my piercings. You go, like, go in there like this. You might like push it a little bit and, this, and the, the um, little crusty bits will go like through your nose. And oh, it is like... They all everyone described it as like it's like sandpaper going through your nose, and that is so accurate. It is so painful. It's like oh, and your eyes immediately tear up, and you're like oh. And with nostrils, yes, they aren't really a painful piercing. They like they aren't up there, but there's something about the pain that I just really don't like. And me having them, me having had my nostrils pierced six times, is incredible. But the piercing, I just I just hated it because it's such like a quick sharp pain. And like your eyes tear up, like I, I just hate the whole thing about it. I just really hate it all. <laughs> the experience is just uncomfortable. I'd give it like a four out of ten, just for me personally, because I just I just hate it. <laughs> it's just very quick and just so like sharp. So yeah, I, I'm just not a big fan of the nostril piercing. So hopefully these two will work out great. Well, I've had the the first one, so the back one for three years, so it's going nowhere. But the one in front of it, three weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Into the Medusa. This one, okay, well, aka the Filtrum, so this is a Medusa or Filtrum piercing, but I just call it a Medusa. It hurts like a... 
I did see people say it is the most painful lip piercing and that is definitely accurate. <laughs> I mean, I don't know as I haven't, I don't have any other lip piercings and I never have, but this one, oh, the whole process is just, a, it's just a painful. <laughs> um, when the clamp went on, you could tell like, oh, this is going to suck for a bit. And it does. It's just quite a sharp pain pinch like it's just yeah and the jewelry going through feels like you were being sliced open it is just not oh this the whole process is not good <laughs> and your lip will swell up for the first few days or so um which is funny <laughs> mine didn't swell up that bad it was just it did swell up though so it was probably like this the whole time it's just i do have lipstick on for no freaking reason but um i don't know if you can see <laughs> this is such a great angle <laughs> But just in there, it's a bioplast post, and that means, so instead of surgical steel or um, titanium, uh, like barbell, like a labrette barbell, it's bioplast, so that means it's clear and flimsy, so that it's less likely to damage your gums or your teeth, which I think is the best option for people with oral piercings, because um, teeth care is obviously really important. I absolutely love it. I love how it gives me a little pop of colour, and yeah, it's, I just really love it. It's one of my favourite piercings. The pain for it, I would give a five. Because, yeah, st not not horrible, like easily doable, like you can sit through it, no problem. It's just, and your ears, your ears, I was going to say your ears will tear up a little bit. <laughs> it has to tear up a little bit because it is a close area, like the septum, you know, it is very close. So your eyes will tear up a little bit, not from pain, just because that is the, the region that it is, that it is it, that it is in. I have my tongue had my tongue pierced three times <laughs> can you believe that three freaking times so the first time I had it done was in year 11 I absolutely loved it it was just it was oh, like my favorite piercing it gave me like if I had anxiety in class or was sh freaking out about something I would just swirl it around my mouth or like play with it and I'd be fine like I'd, I'd calm down it was just such a good way, like an anxiety relief for me. <laughs> I just loved having it there. I just thought it was great. And all the, it got so many compliments for it because it was a rare thing in my school. Um, so it was different and it was, yeah, it was, it was just like, hey, this is my thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I took it out one night because I swallowed the ball on the top. I was, I had changed it to an, uh, a, a, it was a, still a surgical steel post, but an acrylic like colored ball. On the top and I was eating dinner one night and I just I just swallowed the ball like I, I, I felt it happen and I was like I just started freaking out but I knew that was normal from everything I've seen but I was just like oh my god so I ran in into the bathroom and I was freaking out and I had I had the bar still in my mouth thank god it was just like to mum mum was freaking out too she's like oh my god I swallowed the ball <laughs> and I was like being a hypochondriac I was just like this is this cannot happen like this is just oh I don't want to say goodbye to it but what if I swallow it oh my god I'm really scared so I did make the decision to say goodbye to it that night which was such a sad time and it was really weird because I was so used to it and it was gone and then so I missed it too much that a few months later I went back and got it pierced again <laughs> in the exact same spot but that just did not heal at all it just had like the yellowy stuff oh this is going to sound gross but this is perfectly normal as well <laughs> but you get uh, in the first week of your tongue piercing your tongue swells up incredibly and you just have to eat cold foods no hot food no hard food so just basically like you're living off, you know, ice creams, that sort of thing. But stay, but dairy is a risk. So because of the bacteria that it can get, that can get into your piercing from dairy. So you got to have an alcohol free mouthwash and salt soaks and rinses and that sort of thing. Doing all that, looking after it, but your tongue does naturally get a bit of yellow sort of discharge stuff, like a paste that just stays on your tongue um, during the first week of healing. And that is just your tongue saying, hey, what is this going on on my on, on my face? Like, what is going on? And um, you can just scrub that off with a with the brush like it tells you to do. Or it just stays on there and just naturally comes off after the tongue piercing is healed. However, it just never came off the second time. And, like, I knew the first time around what was supposed to happen from my from having it before. It just didn't work. Like, the t my tongue was always swollen, like, to some extent. And so I just had to say goodbye to it. A year later, I think it was. Yeah. I um I was like, look, I want to give it one more go. I know that it's safe to get it done because the way my veins are aligned in my tongue enables me to get it as I have two veins running down the side of my tongue. So I have a tongue piercing that you can go dead center in the middle. I don't know if you can see, but I'll try and show you. 
So as you can see, I have two veins going down like this, and tongue piercing sits in the middle. So it's a perfect little situation for me, as I do not like veins. <laughs> and you, this is a piercing you can actually die from, <laughs> from um, bleeding out, if, you're, if a vein is punctured or pierced through a needle or a tongue piercing. So that is something to be very aware of. And just consult the piercer and make sure that they're professional as always and even I looked before myself after I did my research in the mirror to see if I thought that I was physically like anatom anatom anatomically anatomically if I had the correct anatomy for it and I, I was pretty sure I did before I went but yeah so I got it on the third time and I've had it for two and a half months now and it was perfect it, it was just like the first time except it barely swelled up like I was I was amazed. I think my tongue was like, okay, fine, you can have it now. Like, you're just gonna you're gonna keep stabbing me. I'll let you have it. <laughs> so yeah, I have it now. Absolutely love it. Thank God I went back and got it again. And um, yeah, the pain for a tongue piercing literally is a one. You you barely even feel it. Like it, it's incredible how much you barely even feel it. And plus, I had scar tissue, and so it hurts a bit more. But it just it was generally such an easy piercing to get so if you're thinking about it i highly recommend it just make sure you're safe about it oh and i forgot to do the pricing so for nostril piercings where i get pierced at is 45 dollars for a medusa it is 65 um for a tongue it is 45 and um did i say medusa yes i think i did <laughs> and yes so now moving on to body piercing I have two body piercings i have one nipple piercing and my belly pierced now you're probably wondering Emily, why do you have one nipple piercing and not two? <laughs> I'll tell you why. <laughs> I never was interested in getting my nipple pierced. Like, a friend of mine who I used to work with, um, she got both her nipples pierced and she ran and hugged me one day. And I was like, oh my god, it's like two friggin' daggers sticking into me. <laughs> I saw a girl on a TV show and she was talking about how she got one nipple piercing instead of two as um, it made her feel more confident about herself because naturally women have I hope this is not too much information <laughs> but naturally women have one breast bigger than the other one not by like a giant amount so like one's not a c cup and one's not an a one's an a cup the one that's not the, my the smaller one of my ones uh does not get as much love as the big one um this is why am i talking about this anyway so i just thought what i'll do is i'll get i love that idea i'll get my nipple pierced i'll get the the breast that's smaller than the other one, the nipple on that one, pierced to act, to give it some love, to make it sit out a little bit, to, you know, even them up a little bit. So that was my thinking behind that. So I went and got it done. I was obviously nervous because you are taking your clothes off and standing there and getting your nipple pierced. But luckily the person I went to was not a stranger. He was my piercer for quite a while. So, and he was very professional, which which they, the person you, sh you were going to should be. Um, so yeah, and it just, it was, it does hurt. <laughs> it is a thick area, if you think about it. Like, of course, your nipples are small, yes, but it is a thick area. Um, and yeah, and my piercer, I remember, you know, you've got to take a breath in and they pierce on the exhale. Well, most piercers do. Um, and he said, so breathe in, so I breathed in and the needle, like, went through halfway. And I, like, stopped breathing. And then he had to push it again to get it through the second bit. So it was like, zzz, zzz, like this. And, um because your nipple's sick and I've just been like <gasps> look I was like holding my breath <laughs> and then when it was done I was like <sighs> took my breath away for a little bit it does it is quite a strong pain and because it's like that whoa this was, this was tough <laughs> to get through <laughs> genuinely it's fine it's over really quickly it doesn't continue to hurt it's genuinely in the moment it's about a four out of ten five out of ten but um yeah, so I don't think I don't think I'll I'll get the second one done. I think I'm happy with the way it is and a lot of people ask me like how do you have just one like don't don't you think like you need like having ocd don't you think you need two like the, the symmetricalness and i'm like honey that's not how it works sweetie my nipple was 65 dollars yes but if you get two done at the same time it's a hundred dollars i think yeah yeah so mine was 65 dollars and now moving on to my last piercing my belly button so this is what my belly piercing looks like i've had that one for years and years um probably four years now probably not that long three years yeah um absolutely love it. it it did hurt to get pierced i think because i'm quite thick in that area there's <laughs> a lot of skin <laughs> um yeah it did hurt a little bit um but just that the uh 
I was very cautious of the healing process because, um, like if you wear jeans, that sort of thing. But I don't, I don't usually wear jeans, so I mean, it's it's it was it was fine. Honestly, the healing process was great. You just wear a little bandage over it to protect it in case you're wearing that sort of thing. You just soak salt solution as usual, and it was fifty five dollars. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Love changing it. Love the decorations there. And, um, yeah, I think it's just really nice. A little, little swimsuit moment on the beach. Just like, look at that gem. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my piercing tour. I, oh, I just can't believe I'm doing one after watching so many over the years and more so now wanting to do one myself. My dog is whimpering because my mum just got home. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment. Any anything related to this video or just anything in general. Shoot me a message, subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next one.